Down here is your bobbin cover plate, and we would remove that. And your machine may have come with a bobbin already wound. But if you want a different color of thread in your machine, we're gonna to have to wind one. So we'll take this out and use one of the empty bobbins that came with your machine. These are Singer Class 15 transparent bobbins. So when you wanna purchase additional bobbins for your machine, make sure they're Singer Class 15 transparent bobbins. To wind a bobbin, we're gonna follow the red dashed threading path that's marked on the top of your machine. First, tilt the spool pin back and set your spool of thread on your spool pin. And then bring the thread, like it shows here, from the spool to the bobbin winding tension disc. In and around the bobbin winding tension disc and pull the thread so it slips snugly into the disc. Take the end of your thread and place it from the center out through one of the holes of your bobbin, like this. Continue holding the end of the thread as you set it on the bobbin winding spindle and push it down as far as it will go and then push it to the right. Continue holding the thread up above the bobbin and step on the foot control to wind the bobbin. You can stop to trim the thread tail close to the bobbin. And you can continue winding until you have as much thread on your bobbin as you want. But if you want it full, just continue winding. It will stop automatically. When the bobbin is full, Push it to the left and then lift it off the bobbin winding spindle and cut the thread. Now that we've wound a bobbin, we're ready to insert the bobbin into the machine. Hold the bobbin so that as you pull the thread, it comes off the bobbin counterclockwise. If it's turning clockwise, that's incorrect. You'll want to turn it around so that it's turning counterclockwise. And as a reference, you can check your bobbin cover plate and it shows you the correct way that the bobbin should be placed in the machine. So we're gonna lay the bobbin in the bobbin holder and bring the thread around and keep a finger lightly on top of the bobbin as you slip the thread into this first guide and then bring it around and lay it in this second guide here. And you can just let the thread rest to the back for now and replace the cover. Now that our bobbin is threaded and inserted, now we can thread the top of the machine. First thing you're gonna to do to thread the machine is raise your presser foot lifter. It's very important that you raise the presser foot lifter before you start threading. And the other thing you're gonna do is turn your hand wheel toward you so that the take-up lever is visible at the top of the machine. If you had just wound a bobbin, the top of the machine probably looks like this and the thread is still sitting in the bobbin winding tension disc. So we're gonna remove it. And now we're gonna follow the gray thread path indicated on the top of the machine by the thread guides. Lightly hold the thread with your right hand as you bring it into this guide, like so, just like the diagram on your machine. Continue holding the thread as you bring it down the channel and then bring it down this right hand channel around the U-turn, back up, and you're going to manually thread the eye of the take-up lever from right to left, like so. And that also is indicated on this guide here at the top of your machine. And then bring the thread down to the needle area. Bring your thread behind this thread guide here from the left hand side and then manually thread your needle from front to back. Lightly hold your thread with your left hand as you turn the hand wheel toward you to lower the needle down and then continue pulling the thread until you see a loop come up through the hole of the presser foot. 
pull the loop to bring the bobbin thread up through the hole of the needle plate and then place both threads around the back of the finger guard and underneath the presser foot out to the back of the machine. Now that we've threaded the top of the machine, it's time to test our stitch to make sure we've threaded correctly. Place your fabric underneath the presser foot, lower the presser foot lifter, and step on the foot control to begin sewing. When you come to the end of the fabric, Continue turning the hand wheel toward you until the needle is all the way up and just starts to come down. Raise the presser foot lifter and bring your work over to the side and trim your threads with the thread cutter. Here's our stitch. It looks good on the top and it looks good on the back, so it means we've threaded the machine correctly. When you sew, if you find thread loops or bunching on the back side of the fabric, it's actually an indication that you threaded the top of the machine incorrectly. So remove the thread and re-thread the top of the machine. Now let's take a look at how to sew a seam. There are some reference lines marked on the needle plate area of your machine that you can use as guides for keeping the edge of your fabric straight as you sew. So choose the one you need for your project Line up your fabric underneath the presser foot and lower the presser foot lifter and sew three to four stitches to the straight stitch. Press and hold the reverse lever to sew backwards, then release the reverse lever to sew forward again. When you come to the end of your fabric, press and hold the reverse lever again as you step on the foot control to sew two or three stitches and then sew forward again to finish. Turn the hand wheel toward you till the needle is all the way up. Raise the presser foot lifter and cut your thread. Here we have reverse stitches at the beginning and end of our seam so that the stitches don't unravel as we continue working on our project. For more information, a full instruction manual is available on the Singer website to view or download anytime.